खाना हमने खा लिया लंच यहाँ से किया है और फिश थी पिज़्ज़ा था और बिल बना पैंतालीस पाउंड और अभी हम गामजन हैं बोट की तरफ बोट टूर की तरफ चलते हैं बैक टू द रिवर यहाँ से बिल्कुल इधर साथ ही है और यहाँ से ऊपर ये ट्रेन स्टेशन है चार ट्रेन स्टेशन जी पहुँच जाए वापस यहाँ से बोट जाएगी रिवर टूर करते हैं अभी टिकटें वो सामने वहाँ से पहले ऑनलाइन बुक की हुई हैं तो करते हैं जी बोट टूर शुरू लंदन के नज़ारे अभी यहाँ से बोर्डिंग होगी इस क्रूज पे हम जाएंगे क्या आ गया अभी टूर शुरू होने वाला जी बहुत टूर शुरू हो गया जी तो स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ये था लंदन आइस में अभी देखते हैं किधर किधर से जाते हैं over this public address system if that has alarmed anyone in any way shape or form we do have a fully licensed bar tea coffee soft drinks bar snacks alcoholic beverages all available from the bar the only emergency you're likely to encounter today just going to give it a second because that boat is very loud Right, that air out of the way. Um, as we're being for three days of the year at the moment, that's Remembrance Sunday, the Queen's birthday, and the countdown for New Year's Eve. So uh, it'll be like that until the renovation's done. But in front of the boat, and which head, tilt it to one side, squib one eye. You'll see it looks nothing like that. It looks more like an old-fashioned jukebox in a pub to me. But as we go through this bridge, ladies and gents, what we're going to do, we're going to get the captain to blow the horn. When he does, we'll give every... Hello? Hiya? Hello? This is how we get people to not throw things at the boat. It's a tried and tested method. We'll do it again. Let's do it again. Come on. Let's do it. Hello? Hiya? Hello? If they don't wave, it just means they're Londoners. It just means they're miserable. Don't worry about them. On the right. You've got the Royal Festival Hall. It's the last from... It is said to have some of the best acoustics in all of Europe. It is completely soundproof from that noisy train system we just went under. Uh, to the left-hand side, on the river wall, yeah. you've got a large stick of rock. That's Cleopatra's needle, older than the city of London itself. It dates back over 3,000 years. It once stood in a place called Heliopolis in Egypt. And it was given to us by a grateful Egyptian vice at that sticker up. You might be able to make out some hieroglyphics on it. Well, luckily for you lot, I did very well in school. I can translate. This bridge is affectionately known as the Ladies' Bridge of the River Thames. Over 95% of the workforce were female when this bridge was under construction. As this bridge cleans itself, you'll see the underside's rather dirty, the exterior's rather clean and the clean patches are where the water runs down. To the right hand side behind the trees, the grey building with the electronic billboard changing sign. This is the National Theatre. It's London's pride and joy. Now unfortunately, the National Theatre, it does get voted one of London's ugliest buildings amongst the rest carbuncle. And let's face it, that man does know a thing or two about ugly, doesn't he? Mm. Ugly buildings, okay, ugly buildings. I am not that horrible. Um, coming up on our left-hand side, I've got a little bit to talk about here. Just bear with me. 
Coming up on the left, you've got a lovely white boat with a yellow funnel. It's called Entering the City of London. That's the one square mile capital city of London. The other boundary point for that is Tower Bridge. Just see this archway just on the left hand side. Now, just past this archway on the left hand side, ladies and gents, just beneath the trees and just before that black pile, on the roadside, you'll see two silver griffins. Now, those two silver griffins, they are placed there to defend the city of London from all evil. Now, I for one, I know they do not work. My academic people. Um, but on the right, the orange building in Brickwork, this is the Oxo Tower. That's where they once made that famous little stock cube, better known as Mum's Gravy. It's no longer made there. The first two floors are shops. You've got some luxury, unaffordable housing in the middle. And at the top you'll find these are the Blackfriars group of bridges. Nowhere on this river will you find three bridges this close together that they quite often get referred to as the Tunnel of Love. Now it is said, if you turn to a loved one, give them a quick kiss as you go through these bridges, it will grant you many years of happiness. But if you are not with a loved one today, I suppose you've always got your husband or your wife. Any single women, you're more than welcome to come and give me a quick kiss. No, not today. That's a shame. Any single men, don't fear. My young captain here, he's a very open-minded young man. He gets a bit lonely sitting here, ladies and gents. Trust me, he does. Maybe next time, mate. Maybe next time. To the left-hand side, dominating the skyline, you've got the magnificent dome of St Paul's Cathedral. It's Sir Christopher Wren's masterpiece, complete to, if you seek my monuments, look about you. And it refers to 52 churches that he designed and built throughout his lifetime here in London. To the right-hand side, now the old Bankside Power Station, it now houses the Tate Modern Art Gallery. The Tate Modern Art Gallery is free to enter. But if you've ever seen modern art, you'll know why that's free. The last time I had a walk round there, I see some beer cans. I see an unmade bed. I've got that indoors. I don't call it modern art though. Just give it a minute. Wait for them to pass again. It's like they're enough to get on my nerves these though. Normally come right by Samuel Wallamaker, an American actor and film producer. It's the only building in London to have a thatched roof since the Great Fire. You can see all Shakespearean plays acted out in period dress throughout the summer months of the year. It is an open air theatre. If it does rain, you will get wet. It's only about a fiver to go and see a play in there for a standing standing area. Brilliant value for money that place. Now the next bridge. This is the Southwark Road Bridge. It's one of the most unused bridges here in London because the approach roads are so well hidden in the back streets. Not many Londoners know this bridge exists. If you do see anyone up there, give them a nice big wave because they're more than likely lost. Uh, once through the bridge, to the right hand side, just before the next bridge, you've got a little pub with red windows. That is the Anchor Tavern of Bankside. It's one of the oldest pubs on the banks of the River Thames. And it is said William Shakespeare himself, he had a changing room in this Anchor Tavern when he was performing at the nearby Rose and Globe theatres. This is also one of the pubs that me and the captain like to go and conduct research for these commentaries. Around seven o'clock every night, we go to conduct research in this pub, ladies and gents. We're just going to... It's green. It stops trains falling on your head. I'm sorry, I lied. I've got nothing to say about it. I've got something a bit more interesting. Quick show of hands, has anyone on the boat ever seen the films The Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny Depp, Keira Knightley? He has. He has. Well, I suggest you get your cameras ready. I've got a treat for you. On the right hand side, there's a pirate ship in the dockway. 
You might want to take a picture of that pirate ship because it's got absolutely nothing to do with those films. Just really like them. Sorry. Um, it's actually a replica of Sir Francis Drake's Golden Hind. The original circumnavigated the world once. That replica's been around the world twice. They're saving up for their third expedition at the moment. Does anyone know the name of the next bridge, ladies and gents? Just believe me, look to your left hand since. There's been a London bridge on this site since the Roman era. This is the fifth London bridge to span the river at this point. Now the previous one was actually sold to an American company. It now stands over Lake Havazu on the edge of the Arizona desert. Sold it to them for one million pound. Now once we get through this bridge, ladies and gents, over to our left hand side, just between the next gap in the buildings, you're going to see Sir Christopher Wren's monument to the Great Fire of London. It represents a wax candle. Now that monument, it does stand 202 feet tall. If you was to lay that down 202 feet in the direction we are travelling, it would reach a little baker's shop in Pudding Lane, where the Great Fire of London is said to have started. Staying to the left-hand side, the blue building with all the windows, that's the headquarters of London's Window Cleaning Association. Um, when the trainees, when they graduate, they get to go to the Shard on the right. The tallest building stands over a thousand feet tall. The Shard does consist of offices, apartments, restaurants, a five-star Shangri-La hotel, a swimming pool and observation platform. The sun's out, ladies and gents. Don't look at it for too long. It'll go and hide behind some more clouds. Don't look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Love the sun. Uh, but on the left-hand side, you've got a grey building with a clock face and six black chimneys on top of it. This is Water Guard House. It's home of Her Majesty's Customs and Excites. Now, any illegal contraband sees that the border being smuggled into this country it does find its way to the basement of that building where it's supposed to be incinerated. Now, I've worked on this river over seven years. I've never seen a puff of smoke come out of them chimneys once. I did hear that they have some fantastic Christmas parties though that last up to about two weeks apparently. Camouflage, but on the right, there's a large warship here. It's called the Belfast. It's the heaviest of the lightweight cruisers. In the Second World War, it helped in the eventual chasing and sinking of the German battleship Scharnhorst. It last fired its guns in anger in the Korean campaign. Its main armament, it's got six guns on forward, six guns on aft, capable of firing a hundred weight shell up to the distance of 14 land miles. It is permanently moored here as a museum to British naval sea power. Um, it's got over seven decks to explore, ladies and gents. They're still finishing off the renovation work to it at the moment, but um, it is well worth a visit if you do have the time uh, here in London. To the left-hand side, ladies and gents, coming up, you've got the Tower of London, the Bloody Tower. Now, unfortunately, from the river, you can't actually see the Bloody Tower it's just behind the bloody trees. But construction started here in 1078 by William the Conqueror. That was on the centre key, the part in the middle with the four turrets. All the other structures around it was added by various reigning monarchs throughout the years. In its time, the tower's been a palace, a fortress, a prison, a mint, a menagerie. It's now more famous for housing the crown jewels. So um, rather than just go straight into Tower Pier, ladies and gents, we'll take you a little bit further down, give you an opportunity to get a picture of Tower Bridge on the right-hand side. As we do, I'll continue talking to you. Tower Bridge, it's the gateway to the City of London, completed in 1894. On its opening ceremony, this bridge actually failed to operate. A sailing vessel hit the bridge. Since that day, it has been registered with. Happy Hatta Morgan. Happy Hamiyasu, Turkey. Bridge Cooper.
कश्ती से उतर के आ गए जी अभी हम जाएंगे लंदन ब्रिज की तरफ और यहाँ पे लंदन टावर है ये यहाँ पे जी मेन पॉइंट आ गया टावर ऑफ लंदन की टिकटें हैं बैठने के लिए बहुत मुश्किल जगह है यहाँ पे ये देखें बहुत बहुत बड़ा किला है टावर ऑफ लंदन ये लंदन ब्रिज यहाँ से एक लुक देख लेंगे ये आ गया जी लंदन ब्रिज और मौसम भी काफी प्यारा है। ये वो पॉइंट है जी जहाँ से ब्रिज तो इस समय तक सीम हो जाता है। ये हम दूसरी चार्ट पे पहुंच जाएं और ये इसके दूसरे का जम्मैग अफीर है यहाँ पे टूरिस्ट बहुत ज़्यादा है कोरोना के बाद तो बहुत ज़्यादा है लोकल भी है और पार्नर भी हम बहुत ज़्यादा हैं हम जी वहाँ से घूमते घूमते इस साइड से होते होते ये आ गए अभी हम क्रॉस करके उस साइड पे जाएंगे वहाँ से बस पे बैठ के वापस घर की तरफ चलते हैं
अस्सी हिसाब है क्या है और नीचे से एक साइड से हो गए ये राहरंदन ब्रिज